if you see me like this, you know it's a testing video. So. Hey guys, today is a Poundland testing video. So if you want to know how I did this makeup, it's not a makeup tutorial though, let's be serious. This is quite simple. Um, not really much going on the eyes, nude lip. But if you want to see what goes on, how the products were used, um, I've used all the products from my Beauty Bay haul. Um, Beauty Bay Sheen Cult Beauty, I did like a, I'd say affordable haul, let's call it that, not a Beauty Bay haul. Um, that was up before this, so if you like the products in that, hopefully you'll like to see them in action. So just keep on watching for this. <laughs> oh my god, my hair is so annoying today. Trusty Primark headband. I feel like every time there's a makeup video, this comes out. So I got a foundation. Sheen, Sheen, I don't know. Ultra Wear Foundation in the shade Wheat 03. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel like an 03. Let's give it a go. I don't have any primer, but I've already like, I just primed with the ordinary silicone one I'm scared about this you know oh first impressions thick oh my god that's not even a bad color maybe i'm feeling like a wheat it just looks really warm you know what i mean Okay. I can't really see with the light. I don't know where to put you. Yeah, it's a bit dark for me right now because it's just so like orange, which is really annoying, but I brought a light concealer because I just knew that was going to happen. So we can try and make it work. Okay, so I've got nothing on my nose, but like all here. You can still see all the texture and I've got bumps. And oh, it's just going to be that time of the month soon really, isn't it? I'd say it's like a medium coverage, which I'm not really angry at. I'd probably have to, like, if I was keeping this, which I mean, I don't really know if I am. <laughs> like, I'd have to mix it in with another foundation to make it like my colour. But I don't mind doing that. Here's one layer. The lighting is so bad. it's not my shade and a medium coverage which is all right i'm probably gonna build it up on my cheeks but it's just the color <laughs> you know i mean but we can see how it lasts just the color isn't it, it always gets ruined And I need to blend it. Like, I'm not even going to look at the shade difference. Oh, how annoying. But, I don't think that's a bad foundation. It sits on the skin nice. It's not gone into, like, I mean, it's covering your spots. Like, I'd probably wear this every day, but I wouldn't wear it on a night out. Like, it's not night out material. Right, let's try the She Glam. It's an 01 Fair Concealer. Do you know what I'm The powder. It just didn't... It looks weird. This is like plasticky. By the way, this was... What just happened? This is like a frosted... Either like pretend glass or like glass. It's quite nice. Like, and... 
I'll leave the prices all down below or I might speak about them at the end because I can't remember but I don't think I paid where did that lid even go I don't think I paid more than like five pound fifty for anything so this is like cute packaging it just says she glam I mean it doesn't look bad does it it doesn't look cheap it just looks quite normal Applic applicator is quite small and diddy should we just try doing one eye Yeah, you know, that's what we need. Like we're gonna, we'll put it near enough everywhere to try and balance out the uh, orange. Oh my god! <laughs> Did I just get loads on my nose? That's what happens when you're not looking. Okay, little goes a long way. Just like press it up to the high heavens. I'm just like woof. But it didn't do much. I won't lie. Let's just put it everywhere now. Like we need to lighten my orange face. Might just blend up. My nose has gone a bit patchy now. Oh, even guys. It travels a lot. Like a little bit goes along that. Like, oh, did I just put a lot on? it's making like this area look like the colour my face should be I don't know why I put foundation all over my mouth Can someone tell me see like it's making it just a lot better a lot better the colour this is what I mean like it's it's changing the colour, but it's not really covering anything. And it's not, like, this is, like, fair. Like, this is 01. Like, I was expecting, like, stark white, but that isn't what we're getting. This is a good concealer. Put a bit in the nooks and crannies of me nose. But, yeah. Can't really fault that. Other than... It's not as brightening, <laughs> can't fault it, but not as brightening as a normal concealer, it doesn't cover too much. I feel like it looks dead bright and then it just sinks in and like takes it all away, but I'll finish that up and we can get on to powder. Okay, so I put a bit of concealer here, so it sort of has done like cream contouring with like that orange foundation, but... I think it's done stuff you know that is not i've had a worse base than this let's have a little close up i mean i don't mind that i wish the foundation wasn't that color but don't mind it at all that is a a decent concealer but not my favorite probably wouldn't repurchase that um oh, the powder okay this is, oh, my nails. Oh, I did my nails black today. Spooky season. Um, I'm getting sidetracked. This video will be like 30 minutes, like all the rest. But this is the She Glam Perfect Setting Powder in 01 Natural. And let me tell you, like, that doesn't look natural. I'm really nervous. Oh, this could ruin all the makeup. All the makeup, they're only two products, but let's try it nice packaging standard um oh, there's a little film inside i don't want that to be you know oh you get a little a little poof <gasps> what is that how is that natural like even if i was tanned i wouldn't wear that Right, we gotta do it. Oh, do we? Also, that concealer is now oxidized. Can you see that? Where's the bright gone? I just looked in the mirror and it's sitting horribly. Right, this is over.
no that's going to ruin the whole thing no oh my god what am i going to do about my chin <coughs> right <laughs> i was too hopeful for this Oh my god, look how dark my chin looks. <gasps> right, that's it. We're not using... We're not using that powder. This is just a cheap stay mat. There is not getting covered at all as well. I don't know why I'm showing... So I don't know why I'm so close up trying to show you, but... I'm just having a problematic area. And it's going a bit patchy the uh, foundation because that powder is like a good powder like Rimmel Stay Matte I use it every day um, if I'm not like doing much um, if that actually picked up on camera I don't know what I'm going to do with that powder but I'm not using that again <laughs> what a nightmare <laughs> even though I feel like we just tried a bronzer Let's actually try a bronzer. So we've got the She Glam 706 Virgo. Cheapish packaging, but I don't mind the look of it. Reminds me a bit like Milani. Anyone else agree? But it's like matte with a tiny bit of shimmer, which I don't mind shimmer. Makes it look quite nice. I was nervous to try and fit now. Okay. Also, that powder wasn't blending, and it's creasing. You know what? Let's just let's just forget about it. Okay. That's nice. Like, oh, I don't want to put it over my spotty area. Okay. That bronzer is probably like a lot of ones I already own. I feel like it's very easy to get bronzer right though. Personally. I may have never tried to make it. <laughs> there we go. Do I just need to like sit here? So. Oh, Molten. What do we think of the bronzer? I think it's quite nice. Like I'm not going to lie. I feel like everything is just oxidising, like my whole forehead is so dark. You know what, I have no idea. I'm gonna clean up under there with my sponge, I'm not touching that other powder. Okay, I can deal with that. Don't like how this area isn't covered, but I've said that about 500 times. So, let's do blush. How pretty, it's probably my favourite packaging out of everything. There we go. That is like the perfect colour. So that is in Roman Holiday 204. Oh my god, I want to try it so bad. Did it come with a mirror? Does like film come off that or is it just like frosted? I don't know. Can't see how to take it off. Oh wait, you can. Oh, is it going to be satisfying? That, I swear this was like £2.50 and you get a mirror and like an actually decent blush. Well, I've not tried it yet. Let's try it. Taking my Real Techniques blush brush. Is this powder? Yeah. <laughs> my, oh, if it was cream, it will be ruined, wouldn't it? I'd be not, I'd, no, no one would see this video. That was really pigmented. That was like a tiny bit. I'm tapping loads off. Okay, I really like that. You need a really, really light hand though. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm quite impressed. 
I feel like blush is blush though really like it again with bronzer it is easy to get right but the packaging the way this looks like if I ordered off Sheen again like if I wanted a I think yeah, I just said my dad sneeze really loud <laughs> sorry about that if I um order off Sheen again I probably would pick more of these up um, I mean I have so many blushes right now that I wouldn't but like when I get a job when I get rich <laughs> let's try highlighter so it's the same packaging as the bronzer in Taurus is that how you pronounce it 201 oh there we go why is the lighting really good here and I'm like Ugh. right I'm excited let's try it um i'm just it looks very glittery oh my god that's why is that dark on my skin i know i there we go i feel like it does look a bit dark mm, not my favorite thing let's Let's just put it everywhere. I quite like that. I feel like... Okay, I just heard the weirdest noise outside. I quite... No, oh, let's start over. I think this would look amazing under a foundation that wasn't orange. Like, I think the foundation is not letting this product be like the best it can be anyone agree i'm a bit nervous so this is the she glam brow pomade in soft brown this came in like such a nice packaging i'll leave my beauty haul link down below if you've not seen it and then a tiny little brush actually came with it and this spoolie looks good like i mean my eyebrows are really powdery and they've got loads of gunk in them. I always want to do my eyebrows first, but I need a good brush to like sort it out. I'm nervous about this. Oh, it, they look. Oh, I need to sit on this side. It looks so satisfying when you've not like dipped a brush in. I don't know if to use this brush or not. It's really fat. Like, I'll just try it. You know what? We're doing a testing video. Oh, that felt like a thick mousse. That is not as pigmented as the Anastasia one. Um, unless I just got nothing. Oh, it's just a. Na I feel like it's a nice natural brown. Not like I mean, I feel like you dip your brush in once in the Anastasia one, and you can draw a massive line with it and do loads of it, but this one you can't but it's literally like a fraction of the price. Oh my God, my voice sounds horrible today. I'm really sorry. Um, Yeah, I don't like that brush. Let's not stick with that because it's just unfair testing. But what do we think of me natural brows? <laughs> do they even look natural? I don't know. I, th I think I really enjoyed that product. I couldn't find my mac 266 so i had to use another brush which like you know when you just you need the normal brush but my desk is messy so what's next oh my god eyeshadow right right so here's my palette i got the she glam nine color neutral matte eyeshadow palette and it looks like this like this is like what you'd wear every day like you don't need any more than this um unless you like to wear colorful things like me but let's give it a whirl um hopefully i have some i have some clean brushes but they're all stained so they don't look clean can you forgive me so morphe m521 um i don't know what color to go in with first oh my god <laughs> what's the way says i can't stop to it Go away. Maybe this. I might use the mirror it comes with. Go. 
can't see much, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, maybe this color is too light for this orange foundation. This, bus this brush is so big, I feel like I'm just fluffing everywhere, like woof. I mean, that is a good shade for anyone paler. Like, it's good that they've given that option. I don't even like these, to be honest. But I'm going to have to go with something darker on. Got to try this one. Oh, got fluff. A fluff on my lip. Oh, this one looks really pigmented. Ooh. Oh, no, that's like a good brown. A good... A good warm everyday brown. Oh, it's really creasing that concealer. But I'm not, I was not baking with that powder. You couldn't have made me. I was about to save no amount of money, but like, I'm probably like, I literally would have done it for a tenner. Okay, I'm just gonna mix in all of them browns, why not? Just on the same brush. Oh, why are kids playing around outside? It's a Sunday. Just sitting down, watch film. <laughs> You're ruining my content. Um, I don't think that looks bad, like it's a smoky brown. Okay, just like a basic brown underneath and on top, which I'm not mad at. And then maybe do one of the lighter colours for the inner corner, so it's quite smoky, but then bright, like, I don't know, this is probably what I would wear every day. Like, put br smoky browns right underneath, because I have to have loads underneath, I don't know why. And then put it quite light here. So then your eyes are open, but then you have like a, a smoky dark, like a brownie, I don't know, matte browns and then like a matte white is like a good staple where I feel like you just look good. Someone might disagree with me there, sorry. I'm quite happy with that. It's so bright in this inner corner. I love it. I feel like it does look really bright. And I feel like, I don't like to go here. And like a lot of people won't like that. But then when you've got like massive lashes on, a really dark waterline, like I feel like you just need, need it to be really bright. Cause it really just opens your eyes. But I don't know, everyone's preference really isn't it um oh i bought an eyeliner we'll try that now i got to move my mirror closer but here's the packaging uh it just says liquid eyeliner she glam and i got it in there was just no other colors really it was just this so hopefully it's black First impression, I didn't have to dip in once, like it's so black. 
and you have a lot of product but this wand is so big that it's just catching on my eyelashes and I don't feel like it's making it be thicker than I'd like because this black like it's all up the uh, tube but I do not think that is a bad wing and I'd definitely use that again I'd recommend like it, t it took about two weeks for all this stuff to get here but all of this was like just under 30 pound like all the makeup and like it's not bad when you have quite a lot of products um which i'm going to link all down below unless they're out of stock okay so i'm going to finish my eyeliner um put on some lashes because i don't know if they sell them but i didn't buy any <laughs> and then we'll be back for lips I look a bit weird, but I've got Bossy by Hi Mate. No, Hi Mate to Zero Power Wear. Bossy by Pound Lashes. I, I like the makeup. I really, I, I like the eyes. Um, I've just put the my um, Primark brow pencil in Fawn as a lip liner. I know this looks really dark, but I like a dark lip liner. Like, don't judge. Why don't I have this in my hand? Um, I didn't buy a mascara because I don't want to waste money. I don't I don't wear mascara unless it's literally just to blend the two. I want to move you. So yeah, here is the colour of choice to end the video. Um, O2 English Breakfast. Um, just a new liquid lipstick, I guess smells like a liquid lipstick if you know what i mean um it looks like a really nice nude packaging is really cute um let's give it a whirl oh my god that looks like a really good nude that is really matte already i don't know if my lips are gonna like that i can't get it in the hole <laughs> I don't get it. Let's try and mix it in with my lip liner because got a bit, a bit, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. You have to do it in a lot and you hardly get any products. Look at me just blending the lip liner out like, uh. Quite pale. <laughs> I don't mind it, but it is quite nude. I feel like I need to blend like a, a less harsh lip liner. Oh, mine are dark though. I should have bought a lip liner really, I'm cheating on her. Also, I put on about a good five layers to get this colour and it's like all cracky. I mean, I have dry lips, but like, it just doesn't look nice, does it? It's not bad though. I'd wear a, gl I'd wear a gloss with it. Ghosts. No, I got the window open again, sorry. It feels so creamy. Whatever that is, it's well creamy. What do you think? I don't actually mind the lip colour, you know. It is very pale. Um, like, especially when this foundation is quite dark. Um, but, I don't think it looks bad, like, Try and give a close up in good lighting. <laughs> so, here's the end of the Sheen testing haul. Sheen, Sheen, I don't know. What do you all think? I don't think this turned out that bad. I think it was better 
than Poundland. What do you all think? Look at me like posing like, what do you think? <laughs> so, if I'm gonna be honest, let's talk about things that I think are the best. None of the base makeup. Eyebrow product, I definitely, I, eyebrows, eyeliner, definitely use again. Blush, highlighter and bronzer are like, they're okay. I'm probably not gonna pick them up that often. I mean, it's probably something I'll probably give to my mum or like a friend after this video and be like, do you want another bronzer? Because I probably won't use that. Highlighter as well. Mm, like it looks nice. I need to test the highlighter on a paler, not orange foundation. I don't live on a busy street. Like I actually don't. I live in a cul-de-sac. <laughs> What's going on? sorry okay so that lip product if it was darker I'm, i'd buy more of them lip i don't even know what they are like look how powdery it looks here's the makeup in natural lighting the orange foundation but yeah Thank you for watching. I hope someone enjoyed this video. And if you'd like more testing with the window shut, <laughs> then please let me know. I have no idea what to test next. I was thinking of doing like a drugstore brand, like, but I don't know, something cheap because I'm poor. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> I hate waving, I don't know why I do it. I feel like I get to awkward and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> bye, hope you enjoyed.